Well, good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Thursday morning. It's now the 15th day of August. 2024. This is the morning briefing. And as I look out the window from the home weather office this morning, man, it's another beautiful day. Nice morning, warm, and it is going to be a warm day. But once again, we will keep temperatures under 100 degrees. And it looks as though we may be settling into a nice little pattern here where we keep temperatures under 100 for quite a while. Let me show you what's happening first thing this morning. Beautiful clear skies. So not only do we have more comfortable temperatures than what we've been seeing lately, as you can see, also, the, the fire that was burning in El Dorado County has put up any smoke basically since Saturday. And even the park fire isn't putting up really anything in the way of smoke. There are some fires, the Boise fire, I believe it's called, well up here. That continues to put up smoke that in the morning hours does settle down into the Redding area. But all of that gets stirred out in the afternoon as the southwest, south and southwest winds start to pick up. Also, a little bit of marine layer, not as much marine layer as you might like to see. There will be an onshore breeze picking up this afternoon that'll help to bring temperatures down a little bit as we go through the day. But um, afternoon temperatures up and down the valley will likely reach about the mid 90s, which is about what we did yesterday. So let me show you this because I mentioned yesterday that yesterday was going to be the first time that we've gone seven consecutive days without hitting 100 degrees since all the way back in early June. So yes, so we haven't seen 100 degrees in Sacramento. Came close, 99, 99 on the 9th and 10th, but 92, 88, 92, 96 will likely be close to that 96 number again today and again during the day on Friday. Overnight lows in the 60s will likely get overnight lows in the 50s by the weekend. But things like this, what we had back on the 3rd, the 105 over 75, that's just, that's just not good. The average temperature for the day is 90. You know, the average, those two numbers together, 90. Yeah, that's just, that's not what you want to see in the summertime. That means your AC runs all night and all day and that sort of thing. This is the sort of thing we will see overnight lows in the 60s, highs mid 90s, at least you get a break overnight. And like I said, I think the weekend will turn out to be even cooler. We are going to get the onshore breeze back again later on today. This is the wind that we will have around 11 o'clock this morning. Light southwesterly winds in the foothills, nice breeze in the high Sierra. And once again, you can see that flow going up the valley. And then as we head into the late afternoon, around five o'clock, that onshore breeze picks up. Once again, the east side of the Sierra gets windy. For those of you in uh, areas like Reno, Carson City, um, we are gonna continue to see gusty afternoons out toward Dayton Valley. But then in Solano County, you see the same thing. Nice onshore breeze. So after, let's say, Sacramento hits 95 or 96, we'll see the breeze this evening. And you can also see that all the way down through Stanislaus County. So that's this afternoon. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, we once again have the winds that are light, but they're onshore. And tomorrow's wind pattern will be just about the same. So Friday afternoon, Friday evening, if you're planning on heading out, it should be a warm but relatively comfortable day on Friday. Beyond that, there are bigger changes taking place. So let's take a look at the big picture. Here's what's going on this morning. We had that little wave go by uh, yesterday. And as of the next couple of days, we have just enough ridging to get highs in the 90s. But it's this feature out here that will drop temperatures over the weekend. So as we get into the day on Saturday, this deep trough helps to kick the high farther out to the east. And what that means is that we see highs this weekend likely staying in the 80s. So if you have outdoor plans this weekend, nice, not an issue at all. We're going to see highs in the 80s, probably lasting into maybe Monday. Beyond that, the that low lifts out. The high begins to nudge a little bit back in. So in the early part of next week, we will likely see temperatures get back to that 92, 95 range. But then another little trough comes by for the end of next week, helping to keep temperatures in a really good range and keeping the 100s away. This is getting out to next Friday. So this is the 23rd. So we'll see how it goes over the next uh, seven to eight days. I'm not saying we're done with 100s yet. I mentioned that yesterday. I'm sure we will still see 100s. But so far, we've gone seven consecutive days without hitting 100 degrees. It's likely we'll do that for another seven, which is really, really nice. And then maybe as we head toward the end of the month and then get into September, we'll start sprinkling in a few more hundreds here and there. But we are certainly on the downhill side of all of the, the heat. We are seeing, well, we're now into mid-August. 
The, the nights are getting longer. That does help. Uh, and yes, of course, we can still see plenty of heat in the month of September, but uh, it, it, we're, we're really getting past the, the worst of it. And especially if we can knock out the next seven or eight days without hitting 100 degrees. Now that gets us to the end of August and we really are starting to wind down the hot part of the year. So good news this morning that we are going to be seeing some warm but not overly hot weather. And like I said, any plans you have for the weekend, it's going to be really nice. So that's everything I've got for you this morning on this Thursday morning. Go out and make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.